What's up guys? One Mad Beast here with one of my favorite builds in the game for the Switchglaive. And the one that I will most likely be using myself for when the DLC drops. I call it the Immortal Buzzsaw. This build is all about using your Onmyo magic power and the Switchglaive stance dance to melt through enemies all while constantly gaining life back. I like using magic to imbue an element of my choice and then following up with my low stance to imbue purity. This will trigger confusion which will allow you to obliterate the enemy's health bar. On top of that, constantly switching stances allows you to gain stacks of the Switchglaive Mystic Art, which either increases your attack or decreases your key usage depending on what you choose. At 5 stacks, you gain a brief period to use the Mystic Art's strong attack that can net you over 10k damage with a single hit. So here's how you build the Immortal Buzzsaw. For weapons, you'll want the Switch Glaive of your choice. I prefer the Phoenix Wing because it comes with purity. Make sure you have Life Drain Melee Attack on your Switch Glaive. The secondary weapon is the Great Kanemitsu Odachi. The stats don't really matter here because you are carrying it for the Onmyo Austerity Set Bonus that will net you plus 25 Onmyo Magic Power. For armor, you will use the Headpiece, Bracers, and Shoes from the Genmei Onmyo Mage set. Doing so will grant you the bonuses of plus 10% Onmyo Magic damage on unscathed enemies, plus 52 Onmyo Magic power, and reduced defense for enemies that you hit with Onmyo Magic. That's basically like always hitting an enemy with an additional weakness talisman anytime you hit them with magic. For your Curus and Waste Guard, you will use the Yoshi's Birthright set. Doing so, will raise your toughness into the A rating. More importantly, however, is the set bonuses you'll get from this armor. Increased life, 30% guard key recovery, and increased defense for Amrita absorption. For the best results, you'll also want to temper defense bonus Amrita gauge and life recovery Amrita absorption onto your Curus. You will also want key recovery bonus Amrita gauge on your waste guard. For accessories, we will once again be taking advantage of Shootin' Doji's Gourd for the Pleiades effect you get on Amrita Absorption, meaning that your gauge fills even faster than normal. I also have increased Onmyo Magic bonus based on the Amrita gauge tempered, as well as defense bonus for magic. The poison accumulation and melee damage stats I keep on just in case I encounter a hard enemy who is resistant to my element of choice. The other accessory is once again a Yasukani Magatama. It also has the defense bonus magic as well as poison stats, and it includes an extra life recovery Amrita absorption as well. For the Onmyo magic, I consider the extraction talisman the most important because the Amrita that you earn will boost all of your stats and give you life. Other key talismans include the steel and barrier talismans to boost your defense and key recovery. The Life Leech Talisman is great to have for difficult bosses because with it, as long as you're doing damage, you are gaining back massive amounts of life. My element of choice is water, and due to my Onmyo magic power being so high, it typically only takes two water shots or one water shikigami to saturate an enemy. And as I mentioned before, I also get the extra reduced defense anytime I hit an enemy with these because of the Genmei Onmyo Mage set bonus. For ninjutsu, I only carry poison shuriken to imbue poison if needed, or if an enemy is resistant to water. For the guardian spirit, we are once again using Tengen. However, unlike other builds, Tengen has the most amazing synergy with the switch glaive. Because of the stance dance you can do, you are able to flow through every stance quickly and build up all three Tengen stat boosts in seconds when in combination with the extraction talisman. The boosts being related to Amrita Absorption and Stances, with High being Attack, Mid being Defense, and Low being a key boost. For Soul Cores, use Giyuki for the extra melee damage to saturated enemies if you decide to use Water. 
use Shoot and Doji for the increased defense on Amrita absorption, and if you can get one with an increased Amrita gauge charge, then even better. Finally, an Oni B Soul Core that matches the element of your choosing is great for an easy imbuement option and extra 4.1% elemental damage. For skills, I don't really use that many skills in the Switchglaive other than the ones involved in the Stance Dance. And since I've been saying it all video, what I mean by that are the two skills in each stance height that allow you to switch to a different stance height with an attack. So for high stance, that is switch stance edge and switch stance blade. For mid stance, it's switch stance retribution and switch stance blade. And for low stance, switch stance retribution and switch stance edge. So that being said, I haven't min-maxed this build yet to any specific skill because you can't roll skills for that on your armor, but I am leaning towards putting empty retribution damage bonus on my armor just because it's a great skill with decent damage that does move you forward in your attack. For stats, max out both constitution and magic to boost the damage of your switchglaive melee attacks. Then put a good amount of points into skill as well to boost it even further. I decided to put more points into heart to give me almost 5k life and put some more stats into stamina as well in order to give you an agility B rating. As you can see the defense for this build is also over 2k and once again your toughness is also an A rating. Just to show you here, what this build really relies on is that Onmyo magic power, and mine sits at 630 right now, which is pretty damn high. So, that being said, I'm going to follow this with some clips of me killing some more bosses. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Help me out with a like. Subscribe if you like the videos and the other ones that I'm doing. It just helps me out and lets me know that I'm doing an alright job for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.